everybody. Pastor Rich here with my friend Zach. Hello. Welcome to Sunday School. And I got my recipe book. I'm going to try out a new recipe. It's called Lentil Stew. So, Zach, uh, I am going to need the uh, onion, the tomatoes, tomatoes. I will need the carrots. And last but not least, lentil stew needs some lentils. Stir it all around here. It's very loud. Believe me, I know what I'm doing. Trust me, okay? Ooh, oh, all right, we're just gonna smell good. We're just gonna let that simmer for a while. It smells great. Yeah. Well, I, and I am starved. We're starved. I didn't have supper yet, did you? No, no. Me neither. Oh. Whew. So what well, I would not give for some of that soup. Oh, be careful. <laughs> what do you wish for? Oh, well, why? You know, isn't there a Bible story about that, Pastor? There is. It has to do with uh, Jacob and Esau. Oh, now, his brother. Yeah, his brother, right? So Jacob and Esau are brothers, and they always got along with each other. No, they didn't. No, no. no they didn't. So the story goes that Jacob, uh, Jacob could cook, okay? Jacob was making a really good stew. Uh, lentil stew. Hey, what are you lentil stew. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Esau had, had just come in. Maybe he came in from, from a hunt and spending a lot of time outdoors. And, oh, boy, was he hungry when he got home. And, you know, what was really important back in that time was, was a birthright blessing. And it was one of the most important things. But, so since Esau was the older of the two, uh, when Esau approached Jacob and said, Hey, Jacob, I'm starving. I could really go for some of that lentil stew. Well, Jacob turned back to Esau and said, I'll only give you some if you give me your birthright blessing. And Esau was so hungry that he, said, he agreed to it. He said, okay. So that's, you know, I don't know if, if, uh, if we would say Esau did the, the right thing, made the right decision or the wrong decision, but he was so hungry and that lentil stew smelled so good. It does it right now. <laughs> that, uh, that's what happened. That's how the story went. So I guess you shouldn't be just willy-nilly wishing for things. I guess. I guess yeah. you better be careful. Yeah, don't say you yeah, I don't want to give up something that, that I'm going to regret. Well, there is a Bible verse that I could tell you guys about if you want oh. me to. Yes. Oh, yes, yeah. please. All right. So the Bible verse is in Psalm 25, and it's verse 4. And it says, show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Mm -hmm. Which is basically to say that we got to remember to pray and ask God what he wants us to do. Because... We don't know. Um, so, I mean, just like with Esau not asking God what he should be doing, we got to make sure that we don't do the same thing. So we got to pray and make sure we're doing what God wants us to. Sounds good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, All right, well I'm going to get the bowls. I'll get the bowls. I'll get the bread. Be careful. It's hot. <laughs> mm, that lentil stew is good. Thanks for joining us, guys. See you next time. I don't know if that was a good ending point.